When you think of American icons who broke barriers, Jackie Robinson immediately jumps to your mind. The baseball legend's life and career will be remembered forever. A museum bearing his name opened today with a ribbon cutting in Lower Manhattan. CBS 2's Dave Carlin was there. Jackie Robinson's remarkable life was about impact. We are greater because of number 42. The first guests to the museum at 75 Varick Street were these city leaders, Robinson family members, and stars of sport, screen, and philanthropy. Thunderous applause erupted for Robinson's widow, Rachel, who is 100 years young. Sharing with the world this place to not only absorb the story of her heroic husband, but also honor and support the civil rights movement so upcoming generations understand and foster the values of his humanitarianism. David Robinson, the son of Jackie and Rachel, spoke on behalf of the family. It grew beyond race, it grew beyond sport. And I think today Jackie Robinson would say, I think of myself standing on the shoulders of my mother, who was a sharecropper in Georgia, my grandmother, who was born a slave. Through artifacts, including his jerseys and trophies, plus iconic images and videos, this museum celebrates the huge moment in American history when athletics gave way to social progress. It was 1947, and Robinson broke the Major League Baseball color barrier that segregated the sport for more than half a century. Later, he became vice president of a Fortune 500 company and a trusted political advisor, and a key figure in the civil rights movement. His widow did the honors of cutting the ribbon. What a celebration after the ribbon cutting. This museum is open. Right now, there is a VIP tour going on, but the public gets to come here starting September 5th. Leading up to that, a limited number of sneak peek appointments can be made online for the week of July 28th. If you go to this, this museum, it's the story of America. Not some rigid shrine. The better word is shine. On this icon, and all those who follow in his footsteps with purpose and hope. In Lower Manhattan, Dave Carlin, CBS 2 News.